Hey, my name is Finian. I'm Lauren. And my name is Ryland. And we're Kiss the Ground. And our mission is to inspire participation in global regeneration, starting with soil. We evolved very connected to the soil with our feet in the soil, our hands in the soil. And what this means when you're connecting with it is just starting to be discovered. You know, there are papers and things in science that are just very recent coming out telling us that actually touching soil is helping to make your immune system stronger. You can feel it. When you're working in that regenerative relationship with nature, it feels different, it changes lives. And one of the biggest sources of suffering in life is the experience of being disconnected and disconnected from what? Nature. And the basis of nature is our soil. The coolest thing about connecting to soil and the planet is it really makes you happy. It feels good. And now we have science that shows that it's a cure for depression. So who, which one of you was the first one to discover earthing? I'm gonna say it was Mary Ellis. She was born before me. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> She's got 18 months of bare feet on the ground before I even hit the that ground. That might be around. an insult. Yeah, we actually went to the, the, the track when we first got together. We went over to Pepperdine University. She hadn't run since when? A long time. Yeah. And she's, I do yoga. And I was like, well, we need to go to the track. We went to the track and we ran barefoot in the grass for a couple of hours. She loved it. That was for fun. That was for fun? Yeah, we didn't even talk about grounding. It's just something that you do. So we get up, we watch sunrises, and then we usually go out for a hike. I remember the first time he was like, he stopped and he took his shoes, he didn't say anything, he took his shoes off. Like, what are you doing? And he just started walking and didn't do anything. And he also closed his eyes. That was a whole other terror. I came from a very dysfunctional home. You know, I loved my family tremendously, but there was a lot of mental illness. My grandfather being one of the greatest writers of the 20th century, he suffered tremendous mental health issues. And he also took his life in 1961, three months before I was born. I lost a great grandfather, two great grandfathers, another great uncle, an uncle, a cousin, and my own sister took, took her life. This house was filled with people that were tremendously tortured. A lot of yelling, there was a lot of drinking, there was a lot of self-medication, there was a lot of craziness that was happening. To sort of survive was, for me, getting out in nature, just any time I could be outside. And I'd find myself lying on the grass or lying in a field or lying in a meadow. That would make me feel better. And then it wasn't until I met Bobby that I realized that what I was instinctually doing actually was a very real way to address all kinds of inflammation. And inflammation isn't just physical. There is neuroinflammation. That's brain inflammation. Brain inflammation causes depression, causes all kinds of serious problems. This is a much bigger thing than just walking barefoot on the ground. This, this, this is helping, well, especially me, uh, helping me have a, a way more balanced life. My grandfather, you think of great artists, some of the greatest writing that they do comes from when they were at some beautiful and specific place and their description of it. That comes from an understanding, from a connection to it. To know that there are solutions, and there are solutions in nature. And one of the biggest solutions is that connection to nature. And people forget that first. It's sad because it is so accessible and it is so real to know that a grounded me, Marielle, or a grounded you or anybody else is different than the one who's not connected. And that's what grounding does. It pulls you in to you, to who you are. You know, I think it, it's always the same thing. It's the thing that your mom said when you were a kid. Go outside and play. Go outside and get some fresh air. By the way, 
A lot of grounding from this guy. 19 years old. Look at the feet. <laughs> yes. That's one grounded dog right there. I first heard about grounding, I want to say about seven years ago. It immediately changed my mindset to appreciating the ground. And then the history that we used to all be on the ground and sleep on the ground and wear shoes that were connected to the ground, not plasticized and disconnecting. And I thought, okay, this makes actually so much sense. How have I not been able to put that together before? <laughs> I mean, I've always loved nature. I grew up in nature. But the idea of actually putting my feet on the ground without shoes, it felt always good. But I didn't really connect that it actually could be good for my body. Because I know we're all electrical beings. So we're constantly being bombarded with everything sort of artificial and overstimulating. And I feel really sensitive to that. If I'm working, you know, long hours and have this electrical mic strapped on, acting and, and just being around everything so electrical, it starts to just exhaust me. And I think we all get so overstimulated by all the electrification around us. And I don't think it's doing us any good. <laughs> Big girl. <laughs> Our bodies are constantly being bombarded by everything electrical in our lives. And for me, I've learned that in order to recalibrate my body, I just need to put my feet on the ground barefoot. And it just sort of equalizes. And I also think it's like when you get intentional with putting your feet on the ground, you immediately still yourself. And you're able to just, again, reconnect back to nature, to the simplicity of of Mother Earth, of this great, huge planet, because you're appreciating what's under your feet. It's a whole, like, symbiotic relationship that we've disconnected from in such big ways. I mean, that just the simple act of putting your feet on the ground can give you so much and so much balance in your body and so much healing. It's like we're sucking the life energy through our through our feet, up our bodies, into, to, to, from our mama. <laughs> so bad. I can't, what, that's really embarrassing. It's hard because it's so easy and it's so simple. People are like, really, you're making a big deal of that? <laughs> Intuitively, it 100% resonates, and I'm raising my, daughter this way, where I'm, I want her to be barefoot outside as much as she can. My husband likes being barefoot. That's great. I don't have to convince him to like take his shoes off. Animals are always barefoot, and I know just bringing them outside makes them happy. So I'm just going to keep doing that, whether people want to make fun of me or not. Whatever you believe in, when you're out in nature, it feels bigger than you, and it feels like you have reverence for what we have here.